Hello everyone, this is Mistress Nightmare here, and I'll be reading a brand new Smile Dog Love Story. It's called Smile, I I'm Your Maid. Please make a note, this story is one of my one of the original stories I have made, but it's barely wake up, work on progress, because it's like the brand new story I've been working on. Anyway, I do not like people copywriting the story, so just take that in notice. Anyway, let's r read chapter one, Smile, I'm Your Maid. Storm's part of you. Scram! The man at the butcher shop tried hitting me with his broom, making me yelp as I bite down on his leg, making him scream as I grab some meat and bolted to the nearby alley. Yes, I was no longer adorable, cuddly doggy. I was the complete opposite. My black fur with red eyes and dog teeth that looked like a shark. I was no cute dog. I was something from your worst nightmares. I was a freak to them. Hey, I was proud of being the way I was. All I needed to survive, and I was thin, where well, you can see my ribs. I just love, they just love to torture me, don't they? Love, make, love to take out my hate on them. I always wondered why I stuck around this place. They didn't care for me, and I know all they wanted me dead. Forget it. I need to find a place where I can eat my food. I walked down the alley and found a, a spot where I can eat. Where no one can bother me, I sat down and laid down to eat my mini treasure. I forgot when, when the last time I ate. Hey freak, what you got there? A griffin voice called. I re whipped my head and glared to see a thick black pit bull growling at, in the moonlight. What does it look like, Razor? I growled and continued to eat, making Razor mad. There's no way I'm going to give him my food to this mutt. Handed over, he snubbed towards me. I growled, showing my sharp teeth. Just try it, mutt. You'll be dead before you can even take my food. I growled, waiting for Razor to make the fir first move. Fuck off. Let the lady eat. I heard a husky bark making my ears peek up. Somebody who was actually defending me? Of all cursed things? Really? Me? I must be dreaming. I whipped my around to see a smiling red and black husky. So there was other, more dogs like me, I thought as Razor growled and stepped towards me. My eyes softened but then turned icy cold as he looked he looked up to Razor. Gone. What are you doing here, he asked. I sat down and hastily ate my food. Eyes fixed on him. I'm trying to survive. What does it look like? I snapped, finishing my food, walking past him. Thanks for, ha for the help. I'll see you around, I said as I jumped onto a dumpster and jumped into an old rundown house. Yeah, it was my home, but it was better sleeping in the dumpster. Or the pound, I thought. As I fell asleep for a bit and waking up by the moonlight hitting my face. As I got up and jumped out the window and made my way into town running for what felt like hours. When I got to an alley, it was filled with dogs who were talking the usual mish. I walked past them, I could see eyes looking at me, which was luckily filled with lust. Look what the cat dragged out of the bags, dragged in, said a familiar voice, uh, Jada. Every time I thought, I turned to see a scuffed pomeranian with a beaten a bow in her hair. I chuckled at the sight of her. I had a, I had a hard enough life Huh, Furball? I joked. Shut up. You're just lucky I'm in a good mood tonight or you'll be being a fucked up pardon freak. She growled at me. I just sneered evilly at her. I got into fighting stance as everyone, as I did everyone, has turned ready to see the fight. She got into the same um, stance as we circled each other. Growling, snarling at each other. 
She pounced at me, I, but I ran out of the way and she hit the side of the garbage. I can hear laughters from the other dogs cheering my name. Jada growled, but by the looks in her eyes, she meant business. This time, I pounced at her, biting and clawing at her. Damn straight, I am a fighter. And what do you think? I was just gonna... I was just drying, pressing her hair flip. I thought to myself as I pinned her to the ground, I was about to bite her, her to end the fight. I heard a crazy howl coming from the entrance of the alley. It sounds like demonic. All the dogs scattered, including Jado, who wiggled her way out of my halt. Well, we'll settle this next time, bitch, she yelled, running with the others.